Hi, I'm Eric from RockyMountainATVMC.com and today I'm going to show you how to change oil and filters on a KTM RFS motor. We'll need a drain pan, some contact cleaner and paper towels, common hand tools, a funnel, a service manual, and Rocky Mountain carries a wide variety of oil and oil filters. Okay, we're going to go ahead and take off the filler plug and then we go right to the drain plug it's located on the the back end of the engine it's actually horizontally mounted it's a 13 millimeter head this plug tape lets most of the oil out it's also a magnetic drain plug so make sure while that's draining clean it up take a little contact cleaner spray it off Make sure you get all the metal particles off that. Then the next one we're going to take off, the one that's just under the shifter, and it's actually the long screen. So make sure the screen comes out with it. Let the rest of the oil drain out. And then it's the short screen, and that's located under the engine on the bottom, and it's an Allen head. Once again, you're going to have a screen come out with it. You need to clean these screens off good, make sure that there's nothing that would obstruct the oil flow. Now the oil's probably drained. We're going to go ahead and start to reinstall. Uh, start with the short screen. And we're going to go ahead and tighten that to seven foot-pounds. And then next up we're going to install the long screen. And it's going to go, it's going to be tightened to 11 foot-pounds. So none of these are very tight. We're going to install the magnetic drain plug and it is 15 foot pounds. All right, after we've got all the oil drained, we're going to go ahead and change the oil filters. There's two of them on the RFS motor. You go ahead and take out your 8 millimeter head bolts. There's two on each cover. I like to take a pair of pliers, take off the caps. You are going to lose a little bit of oil, so be prepared. Then I have a snap ring pliers that I use that actually grabs the inside of the filter and the O-ring comes out with it. We're going to go ahead and put a Tusk oil filter back in it to lubricate the O-ring a little bit. So it slides onto the boss inside the filter housing. Put your O-rings on. Go ahead and set them in the groove. It's critical that these are installed correctly. If not, you'll have an oil leak. Once again, I like to use the pliers to hold it up in there and then seat the cover. I'm going to put the bolts in. These are very small bolts and they only need to be tightened to five foot-pounds of torque. After you get all these tightened up, it's time to put oil in. This model takes approximately a liter, which is really close to a quart. Go ahead and fill it up. Watch for the oil in the oil window start the machine, let it run for a couple minutes, and then check your window again. It might be necessary to add a little bit more, especially if you changed your filters. Tusk oil filters come with a maintenance sticker. 
Go ahead and put that on your bike and you're ready to go.